I ain't been home in a week. I'm going off the gas and geek. Bitches be me. Yo, hello. It's Revy here. And in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make the spinning 2D text animation in the beginning. And yeah, if you guys want to support me, I have a website uh, you can check out. Let's get right into this. And the first thing we're going to do is to make a text layer. So you're going to select the text tool here and then press and then uh, type whatever you want the text to say uh, i'm just going to have it to say text just for the sake of this tutorial and yeah i'm going to go down to this align tab here and then press align horizontally and then uh, align vertically so it becomes centered uh, our length of this uh, animation is going to be two and a half seconds uh, so keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're going to open up the text layer here. Uh, go to animate here and then press all transform properties. And then enable character 3D. Just like that. And now we're going to keyframe the Y rotation here. Uh, so you can press the clock here. It's going to start with uh, plus 90. And then we're going to go to the end and uh, set it to zero. And now we're going to change the Y rotation uh, in the transform section here as well. So you keyframe it, bam, go to the middle, which is 1.06 for me, because I have 24 frames per second. Here it's going to be zero, in the beginning it's going to be plus 90, and then minus 90 in the ending. And then we're going to select all of these, press F9, go to the graph editor. And just drag this one down a little bit, this one up a little bit as well, and uh, these two, drag those into the middle. So something like this. Pretty cool in my opinion now. Pretty cool animation. And uh, yeah. And now we're going to duplicate our text layer. So you press Ctrl D, get the text 2 layer. You can rename it to text BG, stands for background. And uh, now we can uh, make the main text invisible, just like that. And then go here, swap fill and stroke. So make it outline instead. And then we are going to add some effects to this layer here. And the first effect we're going to add is called wave warp, which makes the text look pretty cool now. We're going to change the wave type to square and the direction to zero. Looks pretty cool. And the ally sing to high quality. And then we're going to add a texture to this. That's how the texture looks like. And you guys can take a screenshot of the texture on the screen right now. Press the Windows key, Shift S, and then, you know, select the texture. So now when you have the texture here, we are just want to... Uh, increase the size of this image so it uh, covers the whole text here increase it increase it until yeah something like that and uh, now we can drag this below the main text and then change the mat to the text background so it looks something like this now looks pretty cool but i'm going to add another effect to this which is called uh, colorama here we're going to keyframe the phase shift so you press the clock here go to the ending and go one full lap here boom looks pretty cool and now you guys can pre-compose these two layers. Pre-compose, name it BG text. Okay, yeah, so now we're going to add some glows to this text here. So you are going to add the normal glow in After Effects, boom. And the settings I'm going to be using here, it's just to increase the intensity on the first glow to 12.8. And then you press Ctrl D on the glow, increase the radius to 85 and decrease the glow intensity to 6 and then duplicate the glow again. And the third glow should have 384 in the radius and 0 0.6 in the intensity. So now you get something like this. I think it looks pretty cool. I like to add the adjustment layer here drag it in the middle add transform boom then increase the scale to 105 now we can pre-compose all of these layers here boom pre-compose name it text and then add some finishing touches here sharpen have uh, the amount to 25 and then add noise set it to 5% and I almost forgot to turn on the motion blur on the main text here if you guys enjoyed the video 
please consider liking and subscribing. And if you have any new ideas on tutorials I can make, please comment that down below. Check out my website if you want to support me. I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.